Instead of at 4.30, he has to get up at 3.30. <laughs> I better get to bed. Yeah. Do you want to go ahead and go to bed? Yeah. Okay. Good night. Look, they're going to bring a slide in. Oh, work is carrying posts. It may seem like we're a little wishy-washy. But we have a friend who is a real estate agent. And we kind of... She knows our situation and our scenario. And obviously she has her pulse on the real estate market around here. And so we asked her what we thought we could sell this cabin for. And she put out a pretty big number. Like a big enough number that it makes it smarter to actually sell the cabin as opposed to put it up on Airbnb or VRBO um, or, or rent it out. So that's why everything's in boxes because today is Saturday. On Monday, they're gonna come and take pictures. How are you feeling about this? I'm feeling really good. I feel like um, having this place as an Airbnb was, it wasn't exactly gonna be like a passive income situation. It was gonna be something that every week we would have to think about and Right, we were manage. gonna manage it ourselves. Exactly. And also leading up to our very first renters, Airbnb -ers, was kind of stressful for me because I was buying everything that somebody would need. Bedding, you know, just trying to think through like shampoo, conditioner, just everything that you would want out of an Airbnb I'm trying to think through and have. And it was feeling like a lot of pressure and it was something that I was not enjoying. So I'm very glad. I think it, we just need this off our plate. Yeah. Um, so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and sell it furnished. So basically, everything that's heavy, we're leaving, which I'm super excited about. Um, we kind of, that's always been the plan though, because we were going to make an Airbnb, so obviously we're going to keep the furniture here the whole time. Uh, so we're just going to market it as like a turnkey potential rental investment or, you know, come to your, come from St. Louis or Kansas City, come to your retreat on 10 acres with, a, with its own hiking path and with a pond and with a giant shed um, and a huge yard, which landscaping's already paid for, paid, you know, in advance for the full year. Um, so hopefully it's a lucrative investment for whoever comes in and buys it. And if it doesn't sell, then maybe we'll just hire a company, a rental company. There's a lot of rental companies around here uh, that will do, that will manage it for you. They're, the fees are pretty high though, 30%. Hey Eloise, um, can you please stop? But it's probably camera. worth it. So now I gotta carry all these, all this stuff out. So obviously I was gone today yes. and Rachel was, well, she sent me a, te well, she sent me and her parents a te text message and said, I'm getting anxious. I, I felt the same way with Eloise, probably at this point in pregnancy where it's like if I go into labor, we, I just mentally I need to have a plan in place so that it's not chaos. I don't know, oh, don't touch it, don't, sorry. I scare you. Let it dry, we gotta let it dry. Oh my gosh, earlier she has this hangnail on her thumb. I don't even wanna bring it up because she'll start picking at it again. And she was like, picking at it with this finger and then she kept saying it hurts really bad yeah but she like wouldn't let me put a band-aid on it because as soon as I put a band-aid on it she said it feels better and uh. would take the band-aid off <laughs> so one time she like went to go pick it and I'm like no 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 and I scared her yeah and she like like made like a hysterical I said like like four times uh -huh. all in a matter of five seconds yeah you did she made a hysterical laugh face and then immediately started crying and it oh. was, I know I felt so bad Daddy. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a baby. 
Yeah, mommy. You're a baby what? And a baby kitten. A baby kitten. You want a baby kitten? Oh, I heard. No, no, we've I heard, that Lindo. conversation. I heard. I heard you do. I can name Bigfoot. What are you gonna name it, Bigfoot? Baby. 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 I, I thought Bebe. you were gonna name it Snowflake. Baby. Baby. So anyway, the labor plan is. Your mom said you can't drive when you're in labor. Is that true? I mean, you probably shouldn't. Well, especially with children in the car. I don't know. I've never been in labor, so I don't know. I think it would probably be pretty slow. Yeah, you would think so. Uh, this early. Okay. I'm not drilling in May, so. That's good. The right. last few weeks, at least, we won't have to. But there's several days during the week where I'm home with them. I'm home with them on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and sometimes Thursday mornings. Right, but my clinic's not that far away. I mean, I'm only 15, True, I'm only 15 minutes away. It's much away. worse when, it, when you're drilling two hours away. Right, exactly. Because I guess, theoretically, if, if it happened while wee you're... Wee. Don't touch anything with those. Don't touch mommy. So when it happens when you're 15 minutes away, you would just come home and we'd all go together. But right. On the days that... Oops. On the days that I'm here by myself, it's... Today was... It's just getting nerve-wracking. If I have anything that feels like anything, I just think, what am I going to do? We're way out here. Ambulance. I think our plan should be get in the villa as soon as possible. <laughs> and that's what we're trying to do. And that's what we're trying to do. Put your hands flat, please. No, I climb. You want to climb? It is that time of the month where HelloFresh sponsors today's vlog. HelloFresh has been a sponsor for Bread and Rage for about three years now, and we couldn't be more proud to represent HelloFresh and what that company stands for. They are awesome. Probably my favorite thing about HelloFresh is getting these prepackaged meals delivered straight to your door that's quick and easy to go from the package, which is almost entirely recyclable, to the plate and under about 30 minutes. It's really helping me accomplish my goals that I've set this year. I want to eat out a heck of a lot less, which has been really hard with all this renovation that we're doing, but it's a heck of a lot easier when HelloFresh sends us straight to your doorstep. Not only do they have over 50 weekly recipes to choose from, but they can also help you get out of that recipe rut. Pretty much for me, it's like I go, I, I make eggs and sandwiches. So it's nice with HelloFresh that I get something new and it makes me feel like a gourmet chef. Also, if you have kids, you want something quick. They even have 20 minute meals to choose from. Dinner in 20 minutes, that's awesome. So tonight I'm doing the one pan ginger beef lettuce wraps. It's pretty cool because they send you this card that has it really easy, I mean pictures to follow. And today is only four steps. I would sharpen my knife, but last time I did, I uh, accidentally dropped the sharpener behind the oven. I don't want to do that again. I'm sure you all have seen the movie Julia and Julia. I think my favorite part is where she learns how to chop onions really fast and then beats all the men at chopping the onions. It's a great flick. If you haven't seen it, Julia and Julia. You wouldn't think it, but HelloFresh actually reduces your food waste by 25%. And that's important to us because we actually waste a lot of food around here when we're not eating HelloFresh. So check out the finished product. Oh, I mean, that looks pretty much just like the picture. And I wish we had smell -o vision It smells great. So get started today. There's a link below follow it. It's going to take you to HelloFresh.com and use the promo code BRADANDRACH16 and you'll get up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. That's HelloFresh.com, promo code BRADANDRACH16 and get up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Huge thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's vlog. Do you feel accomplished? Yes. Why do you have the mat rolled up? You don't want that in the photos? Do I don't know why we even kept it. Well, we need a mat. Every clip of me on the vlog... You're eating ice? I'm sitting at the table eating ice. I do other stuff besides this. I mean, 
I'm gonna do a tour of the house. So. I'm like slurring because my tongue is numb from how much ice I've eaten. Yeah. Aren't you glad that I cleaned the glass? I'm so glad you cleaned that glass. It looks way better. I'm sure they're. I'm sure they'll photo it. I just realized I forgot to dust that shelf for nothing. I mean, I I did a level ten clean on this place, top to bottom, and declutter in a weekend. Right. So tomorrow morning, we're moving these plants, mm -hmm. um, so that we can showcase the windows and the photos. And I should take that video game thing off the TV. The kitchen obviously will be cleaned up. The trash will be taken out. These are going in the closet tonight. And let's see. So tomorrow morning we got just a tiny bit of work to do. Looks so much better up here. And over he here. Don't you want to buy our house? <laughs> like why don't we live like this all the time? And yeah, our bedroom looks pretty good. Obviously in the morning we will get the pregnancy pillow taken out and the weighted blanket. Let's see. So, oh good. This should close all the way. Perfect. That looks good. I think we'll just leave that up there. It's fine. The window's wide open. <laughs> we uh, we just kept the air conditioner in here. We like it. Um, obviously, yeah, it keeps us cool, but we like the. Uh, it's a highly efficient um, air conditioner, but we like the white noise aspect of it. And then, yeah, the bathroom looks really nice. Nice and clean. We usually have crap all over the floor, we usually have crap all over the countertop. So. Yeah, I think it'll photograph really well. Um, so, hopefully it'll sell quickly. I don't know, it's going to be interesting. I think, so because our primary residence sold in less than 24 hours for over asking, I feel like we're setting ourselves up for a letdown with this place. Because like now that's the expectation for us. So I'm like trying to talk myself out of expecting there to be a showing like the same day because it hits the market Tuesday. So I'm trying to talk myself out of expecting a showing the same day and for like a full ask offer. It's just like that's not the norm. Although in this market, I don't know though because like in this part of town, like this part of the lake where we live, I don't know if real estate's flying off the market as fast as where we sold our last house. Oh yeah, 24 hours. Oh, it was? Yeah. Oh, uh, when we bought it? Uh-huh, yeah. Oh. Like as soon as it came up, and we I called the realtor and said, let's get there today. And we offered like 10 over. Right, and we paid over asking for this place. So maybe. I don't know. We shall see. But we're asking, we're asking more than what, for what, than what we bought it for, obviously. But we just calculated, we actually put a lot of money into this place because um, we had the driveway redone, which was five grand. We did the fire, the fire pit, which was a couple of grand. Uh, we prepaid for land, landscaping. We're actually leaving all the furniture in here. Uh, so yeah, it makes sense that we're, you know, asking more than what we paid for it. So we shall see.